Are there rational grounds for belief in God? Yeah, I mean, there are grounds for belief and other arguments for unbelief. Uh, the thing is that rationality needs to be understood in a somewhat more adequate way. <clears throat> rationality is a procedural concept very often. You proceed rationally. You take premises and draw inferences from them and so on and so on. But that, that aspect of reason can't get going until you start with something. You start with a certain way of describing the world and what the basic categories are that you think really apply to the world. And then you try to work that out. And then after a while, it can be seem to you less believable than another starting point. But that's what, what rationality is. Now, in there are certain questions where we just can't, in the nature of things, uh, what, you know, the shortness of human life and the difficulty of the question, uh, that was Anaximander, or that, what, who that was that Greek philosopher who said that. In the nature of things, we're never going to come to an absolutely final conclusion where nobody can deny the conclusion. We're going to have more or less profound, more or less convincing pictures of human life as we work out what's involved in our starting point. Right? And this, if you like, game of rational, rationalization of bringing to a more rational expression is something everybody can play, everybody does play, and Christians and people of faith play that as well. And it's part, it can be very important in their own journey, it can, it can help, you know, it doesn't, it's not the exclusive thing that can help in your faith journey, but it can really help in your faith journey. And it may be that it, 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 for other people who are on another kind of journey, it may seem make, to make more sense than the one they're on now, so they may change. But the opposite may also happen. Right? So it has a very important role, but the idea that there isn't, a, uh, there isn't rationality here is it's really very hard to see what people are thinking. I think they're thinking something like the same idea we saw in relation to the earlier question. That is, there are some views that are worked out from the bottom up, like scientific uh, views, and then there are other views which kind of get shot in from some authority elsewhere. But that's not the way it ever works. I mean, nobody can be totally without attempting to reason in regard to their faith, if precisely, as I say, it's on a journey where you have to understand more what it means. No. You don't fully understand what it means, so you have to try to think it out. And there you have, starting from a certain starting point, trying to make sense, trying to give a rational expression, trying to articulate what it's all about. 